State. I'm the first of five children. I have three sisters and one brother. <clears throat> and I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I am a performing artist, I'm a vocal coach. Basically, that's, that's who Lua Shalom is. Yeah, and I'm a florist too. I like flowers. <laughs> so. When I call your name, be my strength and catch me when I... <sighs> Okay, how would I describe my music? Well, if you ask me, I'll say my, my genre of music is gospel. And uh, I always like to call it alternative gospel because um, I venture into different styles. I write whatever comes to my head, and I I'm not kind of I'm not I'm not uh, restricted in the way I write and in the way I sing. I like different genres of music. I like jazz. I like R and B. I like soul. I like a little bit of traditional, although I'm not very very vast in that. But I'm learning and I'm working on it. So I. I mean, I put all of this together and, you know, sometimes when the songs come to me, they, they come in different forms and I don't reject them. So, I just want to um, express what I have inside of me. How would I describe my journey into music? Okay. Um, I music has always been a part of me. I grew up with music. Music grew up with me. I I grew up with a guitar in the house. Uh, my dad plays the guitar and he sings a little bit. He writes songs too. So growing up there was there was always singing. There was always music. And I remember he wakes us up every morning with Jimmy Reeves. So this song from the lyrics. Um, we thank you, uh, you all day. We thank you. Da, 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 da. That's the song I hear every morning growing up. He wakes us up with that song in the morning. And then there was always this time of, you know, daddy played the guitar and I was singing with my sister. And, um, you know, that was my first introduction to music and uh, as I was growing up daddy would write some of these songs and I remember we used to sing at our village church every Christmas me and my younger sister and uh, you know we would sing daddy would play the guitar sometimes he would play the keyboard and then we would sing every Christmas we're always looking forward to it so I guess that was my first introduction to the stage as a little girl you know or surround us and love us like you. Mama, mama, there is no one else like you. Hmm. Marie is one of my favorite worship songs. It's, um, <laughs> it's a song about God, basically. The song is about three, four years old. Four about four years old and uh, I remember when I it just came to me one morning after my quiet time I was, I was just you know just worshiping God on my own and then the cross just came to me no there is no one else like you so I began to sing it and I was worshiping with it just me in my room, just me, and I was worshiping the song, and I was singing to God, I was enjoying myself. And then, after I prayed and all, I just, I just thought about it, like, that was a song that just came to me, so I wrote it down, and then I remember running to my big brother's house, 
um, my HD and I want to hear it. Like, I just got a song, 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 I just got a song. And I, put, I sang it for him, he played it, the keyboard, and I said, wow, it's a good song, it's a good song, I think you should work on it and finish it. So, I worked on the song and I finished it, but it used to be very, very slow. It was like, uh, it was like so, you know, so jazz together like that. So, and I administered the song in different places before it was recorded. So, um, it's basically a song that talks about who God is. In Yoruba language, Illudimari means the Almighty. That's that um, when we do marry. So it's it's a song that talks about God's might. That talks about the fact that He is just God all by Himself. There is no one like Him in all the earth. Mowoke Mowole. Say it means I looked up and down. There is no one else like you. I looked to my left. And to my right, I look to my right. More what? I look to my right, and then to my left. Still, there is no one else like you, Almighty. My first album, actually. Uh, there are thirteen tracks in the album, and I worked with. I had a number of producers. I think I worked with um, about four producers. Worked with uh, Juicy Pro. He worked on. Um, he produced Lamb of God. He worked with um, Roti Miki. produced about three songs on the album. He worked with um, uh, Tone Music. Produced most of the songs and then worked with one of our friends, uh, Major Minor. So I worked with about four producers on the song. I mean, on the album, on the projects. I I worked with quite a number of artists too. Uh, had the privilege of working with um, Onos Ario. <laughs> we call her Oyel Mama. Oyel Mama. <laughs> I had the privilege of work. I mean, the privilege of working with her on uh, Lamb of God and uh, my capital too. <laughs> you know, I'm just blessed all these people on the album. Um, I had my capital on um, the remix of See Me, and then I I was also privileged to meet um, Dr. Lester Lewis from Jamaica. We had a reggae version of Sunny Night, and I worked with quite a number of other friends. So my friend that came in to help in the process of recording, the cover calls, you know, camera crew, recording as well. It, it's been, um, I had Naomi Mark. Oh, how could I forget? I had Naomi Mark on prayer. Yes, we had this beautiful song that we, we worked on together. Um, Naomi Mark and Lola D. We had a song prayer that we worked on and sang song together. So I had the privilege of having all my superstar no enough on my album so, so it's a, the album is quite it, it's a, it was a big project and um, thank god it came out nice and it's out there has one is um, uh, um a, a wonderful record label that i belong to I'm an artist on, I mean, signed on to House One Records, and I have a label mate too, Nami Mark, doing wonderfully well. You all know him. I mean, you all know her. You know her songs. You've heard her songs. You've seen her videos. Um, House One Records is about a year and a few months old. We started out last year officially, and then um, we started working, working on songs, releasing singles. Um, Household Records is quite like a family, you know. We we relate really like friends, like family, from the boss to our general manager to the individual manager of the artist to the different crew, people, camera, every kind. I mean, all the people that we work with. We have friends coming in to work with us. We have I um, mean consultants and PR and. We have, it's, it's quite a big family from people who are very, very close in and from some other people who are far outside. So, Hustle Records is um, 
is 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 one record label you should watch out for. Of course, you you already see. I mean, you've already seen all the things that we've done. You've seen um, a little Mary video. You've seen a little Mary album. You've seen prayer video. You've seen some in the night. And you've seen Orimi, um, Orimi by Naomi Mark. You know the song. You've heard it. You've seen the video. You've seen um, My Heart. It was, I mean, it was a rave of a woman for a long time. It's a song that keeps, you know, it goes and then comes back and then it goes and comes back. It just, it just, you know, it just keeps going round and round. It's a very, very beautiful song. So that's what we do. We are committed to uh, releasing great content. We are committed to releasing songs that are musically sound and depth of content. Songs that uh, have positive impact on the society. We, we don't want. I mean, we don't give out songs that are just songs, or just for the beats, or just for the rhythm. You know, we're about the content. We're about the impact. We're about the sound. We're about excellence. It's a complete package. It's a total package, and we are committed to churning out good music. I remember